All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com, and I want to do a quick tutorial on drawing graphs in paint. And I'm doing this because I encourage people to add content to their website to display their data in ways that people find attractive. Yet, a lot of the people I correspond with just don't have the patience to learn how to do graphing in a, a spreadsheet or in Visio or in a dedicated piece of graphing software when all you really need to do is have the ability to draw two parallel lines as I did just there. Once you've drawn two parallel lines using the line tool on the minimum line width, I just come over here and copy them, edit copy, and then make sure that you have draw opaque unchecked. And this allows you, you'll see now that it's unchecked, this allows you to superimpose things very easily so we're going to paste back in those two lines that we just uh, copied and bring them right down on top of the other lines. See the line gets fat, the line gets thin. They're exactly superimposed. Go for another copy. Perfect. And now to speed up the process a little, I'll pick up the whole batch and copy those. Edit copy, edit paste. And this works for any size of graph paper you want to do. Um, I just started out with a cell spacing, with a line spacing that'll be the final grid space that I like. But that's just by eye. I don't have any particular um, requirements for this graph size-wise, since it's only going to go on the internet. It doesn't have to fit on a piece of paper. So there we have our horizontal lines for this grid, and there should be 13 of them since I started with four and then overlapped it three extra times. Now, I'm not going to draw vertical lines. What I'm going to do is pick up the entire graph, edit copy, and then I'm going to rotate what we have by 90 degrees. Rotate by angle, 90 degrees, OK, and just paste the original horizontal lines right back over the top. So there's our grid. And now all that remains is to clean the grid up. And you can do it a couple different ways. I mean if you want to you can actually just cut a square out of the middle and save it separately. But I like just going around and, and trimming the edges. And this way I can leave some small stubs which I sort of like for helping me align the uh, data that I'm adding to it. It's just a sort of a visual cue for keeping the um, axis labels lined up properly. So there we go. There's a graph. And again, I'm Morris Rosenthal from Phoner Books. And you can visit the whole page of this with the three videos on my website at phonerbooks.com graphing.htm. And we'll talk to you later.